day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. The rags. Father yes, God, sir. forgive us our sins that we may be willing to stand you prayer. Lord, as we come before you to gain, gain a greater understanding of you. Yes, you. Understand you and all your sovereignty, Lord God, and in your own. Ah! Mm. Mm. Praise God. Yeah, man. Knowing who you are, Father God. You who you are. Knowing who you are, Lord Jesus. Yes. That's what we come to know. We come, we come to find that out this morning. Yeah, baby, you. Examine that. To know who you are, your character, Lord God, your, 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 your sovereignty. Abilities, your will, your hallelujah, Lord Jesus, your strength, your purpose, yes, your yes. your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding, your your presence, Lord God. We, we come to know that. We come to understand that. We come this day to gain a greater insight into who you are. Who you are. We want to know who you are so that we can go forth and propagate this gospel in truth. Yes. Lord, we thank you for having caught us out of darkness. We, we know we were lost. As we have come this far out of where we were, we realized that where we were was not where we needed to be. Hallelujah. And where we're headed, Lord, we don't even know yet. Come but on. We're gaining a greater understanding as we take this walk with you. And we pray that you continue to walk with us. Walk continue with us. walk with us, Lord God. Don't do us. We don't want to go back to where we were. We don't want to be the people that we were. We don't want to go back to a better version of what we were. We want to move forward with what you created us to do. Yes. yes. We're not trying to return. Hey, Lord God, we're trying to move forward to the things that you have uh, you have already predestined us to be, Lord. You just said greater work. Yes. Greater work. Greater work, Lord God. Greater. Hallelujah. Yes. Let us embrace the greater, Lord God. Let us embrace the greater. Let us embrace the, the, the greater work that are done than those who wrote this book that we Come study on, so fervently every day. Who's just the one we read about every day. Who, 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 but we want to write our own testimony, Lord God. <laughs> we want we want to know all Woo! they do, and then we want to know some more, and then demonstrate even more than they did. Come on now, because you did greater works than they did. You said we would do greater work than you. Come on now, move us forward, Father God. Don't let us get caught up. Help us, Lord God. Don't let us say travel again and, 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 and hinder our growth. Lord, yeah. let love precede all that we do. Let compassion be the foundation of all our interactions when only with one another, but with those that you have called us to witness to and the minister to. Even yeah. those who are without, even those who cannot appreciate the word yet, even those whose ears have not yet been tuned, Lord. Yeah. Give us a heart towards them, the same heart that you had towards your creation to bring them out of darkness. Give it to us, Lord, that we can Hallelujah. be effective and moving this gospel forward and moving this kingdom forward, Lord God, and, and, and bringing this thing to fruition. Yes. This thing I pray, be with us this morning, Lord Jesus, and open our eyes and our ears up and let us understand that, uh, your ways, your will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Amen, amen. amen. Praise him, man. Amen. You know, uh, Ella, the, I think if we put up, if we bring up the chat, you bring up your chat, you can, if those of you can cut and paste your, uh, uh, Bishop oh, okay. the uh, yeah, can you share? Uh, you, let me see here. Can we share? Let me so see. I'm anxious, I'm anxious to do that. <laughs> I, I, I put down here multiple. Uh, yeah, you can share. This I feel is, like a kid in a toy store, man. I got some new toys to play with. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how to. Okay, so I got my my my, my thing. My slide is up. You so know what I gotta do. Go to that green, go that green uh, box that says share. Go to the green box. Right. Oh. It should be the green box at the bottom of your screen. When you when you when you put your when you put your cursor down toward the bottom, you should uh -huh. see the you should see your microphone, you should see your uh, video camera, you should see icons that security, you can see participants, you see chat. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. Here, okay, click that. I'm clicking that. And okay. And you, pick, you pick the. Uh, you pick where I want to share, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you hit that green button that says share. All right, Pastor, since uh, uh, I didn't do my homework this week as I put in the chat. Um, oh, you did so that? Are you. Are you are you um, sending those out in the email 
and then is that where I would get that from? What are you talking about? Yeah. The, the see, I, you know, it was, it was the same one we did last week. So oh, we, okay. It was the same one. Remember last week you did the uh, Mark 1. Right. And we were saying it was the uh, Mark 4, 1 through 9. Yes. Yeah. So that, that that's all we was doing. So just see, do a C C I T on the uh, same parable. Um, mm -hmm. And and that was that. So we didn't we didn't we did. It's the same one. So if you you had a chance to look at the other one. Oh, remember remember I I, I messed up and read the wrong. Yeah. Right. Hey, if you want yeah. to if you see, want to run, see, run back. See, no 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 no. You did it just now. You said Mark one. Did I know? I said now. you did. I said you did Mark one. Yeah. yeah. Most of do. Uh, it's it's a it's the sower parable, which is uh four, chapter four one through eight one, one through nine, nine. Yeah. one through nine. No, yeah. I did not. I didn't go back and do that. I thought we were changing them from week to week. Okay. Oh no, now we ain't finished with this up. one yet. You know, I'm the slow student. That's okay. You can think about where Elder Elder. I got uh some CTIs as well, and Elder got one. And some others probably bringing theirs in, so you could. If if while while we're talking, you can consider one before you have to leave. Which time you got to leave? Uh, I'm nine ten. Okay, consider. So usually one. nine. I gotta I gotta be walking out the door at nine fifteen. So usually, you know, I gotta try to get out of here because I'm already prepared to leave. I just need to, you mm -hmm. know, click on. Okay, if you you consider one while we while Elder and some of us show show ours, and then if you Amen. see you're ready, we, you can show it. Okay. Just Amen. consider, but but look at what they do first. That's may help you out. Uh, so for Bishop, we already prayed in, and uh, I have my cent central idea of a text, and Elder has Bishop has his, Elder has his, so he's showing his first. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start with that, and uh, we'll work from there. Go ahead, Elder. So Elder, you want to read it? Yeah, I'll read it. Then uh, let's see, the kingdom of God is advanced through the preaching of the gospel, preconditioning of the heart and ears to receive the gospel is required. That's it. Is that 18, is that 18 words? Yeah, it's a little bit over 18. I think like 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's 24, 24. words. Okay, okay. I uh, couldn't. Think, I couldn't think of way to cut that anymore. Though. I, I I wrote it a couple of times more. You know, I, I was thinking I got these central elements, but um, it still went over eighteen words though. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll hold it for a second. Bishop, you want to go through all of them first before you uh you start talking, or do you want to look at each uh individual CIT? Uh, let's see. Okay. All right, so so I just we stay out of is the kingdom of God is advanced through the preaching of the gospel, preconditioning of the heart and ears to receive the gospel. You gotta you gotta uh ears required. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That you can you can stop sharing. Everybody got that? So is, so is that a period after a gospel? Yeah, uh, that's yeah, a, it's a period after gospel. Mm -hmm. And then there's a period at the end. So what do I do now? You can just stop sharing. It's at the top, it says stop. A red button. It says stop. Crap. All the way up to the top. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm at the top, moving a little bar around. That ain't it. That ain't it. Yeah, it says stop. It, it's a, it's it's a, oh, oh, okay, I see it. Thank you. All right. All right. Jimmy, you have yours, sir? No, I'm not going to share mine today. Okay, okay. Uh, and and so what I'm gonna do is share my, cause I, I this I, I got something out of it today, uh, last night, and I wanted to include it in the the uh, conversation. I actually did uh, like you was doing. I did a couple of configurations of it, 
still stand within the 18. But I had, I, you know how you did, I think you mentioned Thursday that you had progressive ones and you just kept them. Um, I, so I had, I had some, I had like three or three iterations of them, actually four iterations. And then I, then I put in the, uh, uh, a note that I wanted to share. So these are different iterations of the stand within the 18 words. I says first that the kingdom soar sold words into hearts. The devil took souls on wayside, but cannot on good ground. Repeat it, just a different variation of it. The kingdom sower sows the word. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good, fruitful ground. Third iteration, the kingdom sower sows God's word. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good, fruitful ground. So they just a restatement. Sound, they sound basically the same. The last one was just the, the one where I, I took out the, the word kingdom and said, this is the <clears throat> one I was telling you last week uh, about how it kind of pushed me back to the uh, Genesis piece. But it's just there, uh, just for thought. First sower had dominion, double took on the wayside. My last source sowed God's word on fruitful ground. And then I wanted to, as, as we go through this, because uh, you, you brought up a good point. We're talking about souls, saving souls. And I, I took it from a bigger picture and, and I wanted to narrow it down to an individual picture as well. I said, no, word felt, I saw, I, I, I was trying to go through each of the different parables to find something that was common on each of them. And I was showing that the, when it said the word fell on four areas, it says fell by the wayside, that's that's an area. Fell on stony ground is an area. Fell among thorns and fell on good ground. That So that, that word that was sown fell on four areas, but only the good ground brought forth a hundredfold or 60 or 30. And I did note that Luke only read a hundredfold. Question for everybody as we go into our discussion was the word sown in heart or soul of man is is, is my question that goes with our text because we know we talked about a sower the sower really the kingdom sower so we were we know he sowed the word and we know from uh, 9 through 20 he said the devil, the word is sown in the heart. Uh, and then we know that the devil took souls on the wayside because we are talking about souls, but cannot on good ground. And and I, I just want to know first from y'all as we go into discussion, is the word sown in the heart or in the soul? And then food for thought. I was thinking on an individual level as well as the worldwide level. Because the worldwide level is souls, saving souls. But on the individual level, is the soul the ground where you have wayside, where you have a stony ground, where you have thorns, and then you have good ground? And the reason I thought about that is that, you know, that warfare that goes on and the cares of this world, the deceit and the riches, all that stuff is in the mind of, uh, of the war, you know, the believer. So I, so I just want to add, as we go into it, is, is the word sown, Brother Jackson, that's a good question even for you to think about, is the word sown in the spirit only of a man? or woman, or is it sold in the, in the soul of a man and a woman? That, that's the question I was kind of, you know, like where's that word soul at? <laughs> and, and when I said these, I used to think that these areas was talking about people, 
But I, I Bishop, I'm thinking the areas are talking about the soul yeah. of a person. The heart. Yeah, but I, see, I, think I, I, I think it represents it. One, I think at the beginning of the scripture, I think it says that the devil stole it from the heart. In, in four, in, in the yeah, in he he, he, two twenty, Jesus said, yeah. And he stole it out of their heart. So if we're talking about the condition of the heart, we're talking about stony ground uh, or, or, you know, wayside and so forth and so on. We're talking about, uh, so I think that you were saying that we'll be both, but primarily I think he was talking about the heart of the person. I, you see, when you say heart, that's what I'm saying. The heart sometimes is a change between. Well, well, when, I, when I speak in reference to mind, oh. I mean, when I speak, speak in reference to heart, I, and for me, um, I think that that, in this case, is the mind. I think it's the soul. It's that's the, the soul, heart of the right? soul. Yeah. Right. That's the soul. The heart of the soul. Yeah. And and, and all the reason I think about that, you remember like in, in uh, Romans 7, uh, and six, you talking about that war of the mind. He's talking about that inward man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I delight in the law of God, but my flesh, that's that's my fight. But the mm -hmm. the decision maker, the, the decision maker is a soul. Yeah. Jim, what do you think about that? That's, it's, it's, that's a fact too. Yeah, and I'm, I'm saying is that I used to think about the wayside, these errors felt as people, but there's, there's not people. Mm -hmm. that, that can't mm -hmm. be people. Or groups of people, because that that mm -hmm. implies that there's good the people, people yeah. that, that are, are good ground, and uh, and I'm thinking that when you're born again, your spirit is really just reconnected back to God, Preach. to the Holy Spirit, right? Yep. So so the spirit is a it's it's, it's condition has changed because of a connection, because there's a dead spirit. And, and Bishop, that's uh, obviously what you want to weigh in at too. Uh, listen, we, we're dead spirits because we're not connected. We become live spirits when we're connected, born again, right? Then this this soul that that has, for me, I think that's where the wayside, stony ground, thorns, and then good ground. There's some parts of your soul receive the, the the word of god and receive christ that's where that co the connection was made but then we got to go through this growing from a babe to you know mature saint and as we go through that the saint a believer fall, has all these different things uh hardened parts of their hearts that they're dealing with right and, and thorns and, and cares of this world so Bishop, that's the only thing I want to say. When I got this, so when I did my CTI, the kingdom sowers, the kingdom sower, which is Jesus, sowed words into hearts. The devil took souls on wayside, but cannot on good ground, because that their word was was planted and rooted on the good ground of the soul. But he's going after the the wayside, the the the, the, the areas that are not willing to receive the full gospel uh, have different issues, different, you know, from addiction, strongholds, you know, go ahead and go to Second Corinthians, right? The, the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. And I think of some of these things are strongholds that are sold into the hearts of man, which is his soul. So, I just want to put in, I did, did like three, I did wanted to make sure there's a difference between the so and so's God's words and, and then the devil from the wayside, once again, those areas of the soul, he, he takes, he, that's where he tried to take that word from, but he cannot from good ground. So that's, that's the, that's my starting point. But my CTI said, so all four of those are, all the first three are just a restatement in different ways. I wanted to make sure that it's God's word and the sower sows the word god's word is what he does that's that's jesus he sows god's words into the house of man so that's 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 my uh, c c i t uh i gave you three ver three variations the fourth one is just a just by way of trying to dress back into the uh the uh beginning that the first sower had dominion 
the devil took on the wayside. He took from the lust, right? I think that way Eve was. She was she was drawn away. She was deceived by the lust of the eyes and the kids, I guess, in the just basic lust of the eyes. And then the, the last sower sows God's words on fruitful ground. And the only reason I put that is because you said, look at the all the parables. It did, I don't know if y'all noticed that of all the 30, 60, each of them had a variation, but only one, Luke, said a hundred fold. When I looked at Luke, it said a hundred fold. Uh, Mark said 60, or Mark, all of them start off with a hundred, and I also know that all of them start off with a hundred. So a hundred, 60 and 30. And then the other one was a um, hundred fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. And, and Bishop, when I was looking at that, I was looking at it. That's why I'm thinking parts of the soul, when you got that 30 fold, you know, uh, Jackson, Brother Jackson, I'm saying that that's, that's seemed like part, that's what it's saying is, hey, there's a part of me that got it going, got it going on. I got, I got God's word. You know what I mean? I got it. Hallelujah. Right. I got it. But then there's some strongholds that that's 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 hindering my the, my full acceptance of the gospel. All right, you know, there's some things that still you got addiction, you got you, we got sin, you know, the tip areas of sin that that tempts us and pulls us. That I'll think and that's where that that's why that word 30, 60, and then there's the one called the hundred. So, hey, so, there's a, huh? Yeah. Go hey, ahead. No, I need clarification because I, I, when I was thinking about that, I went to um, the number of souls that you actually went. Uh, I'm That's what I'm thinking too, right? I'm thinking, exactly. Exactly. I was thinking, right. I, I agree. I was thinking that the uh, the bigger picture was mm -hmm. right. Souls, the right? Souls get, yeah. Which was even the beginning of the replenish of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is when I looked at Luke, and I let me see if I can put it up here. Uh, Luke Luke went straight to it and said, I, I ain't thinking about nothing but a hundred folk. <laughs> Let's see, right here. Where's Luke? Here's Luke, and at the end, verse 8, and others fell on good ground. And on that good ground, he said, and sprang up and bared fruit a hundredfold. He, I mean, I'll just, I'm just saying as we're analyzing, we're picking, we're chewing on the word, we're trying to go through the word, right? <laughs> I, 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 I caught that significant difference of a hundredfold. And and what? So I'm thinking that that can't be a hundredfold of the world, right? <laughs> That's why I'm thinking it's a hundredfold within the person. Hmm. That's a thought. That's a thought. That's, that's all I, I just wanted to throw that in there because I, I know that we, as all of us as believers, we all agree from the beginning, we are all saying it comes short of the glory of God. But we also know that many have sinned since coming into the body of Christ, many of us, all of us really, in some form or fashion have sinned and have some errors that we have to work with. So so the question is, us moving from glory to glory to glory, is the that hundredfold in the soul uh, uh, the, or the mind, those strongholds that we have to work with and tear down, the spiritual warfare that's going on. So, so the whole commission is God said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believeth, and also the scripture said that it is will for all men to be saved he wills that that's his will but we know that there's people going to be thrown into the lake of fire so we're not going to get a a hundred I don't know maybe I, we're, that's up to God but you know, I, when, when, when I say in terms of that, you know, huh? it, when you're talking about the numbers that you, the actual numbers that you, right. like some people are going to get 
40, some will get 60 people, and then the others will get 100 people. Right. Was he talking about that? So I, because I, I remember what I'm thinking, said, in the seed, in the fruit was a seed, in the, in the produced after its kind, right? Right. So once we get that seed in us, and we begin, we begin to produce that fruit. Well, you remember, and we can't produce. That's, we that's can't. what we're doing first. But as a, as, a, as a result of producing that fruit, we're able to disciple others in as a result of having been discipled in ourselves, in a sense, like leavening or like with the fruit producing, you can produce, you got seeds in you. <laughs> so you can produce maybe a uh, hundred people, I mean, a hundred more folk, 60 right. more folk or 40 more folk. And, you know, I, you know, I never <laughs> thought about that. Uh, but what, is that what he's saying? Because it, it, it would be a testament to just the mega ministries in a sense, because discipleship requires Personal contact. Discipleship contact. Um, I, I looked at it in contrast to um what you're saying and I, I thought I heard you guys going in the direction of, you know, the 30, 60, 100 perhaps was a um some sort of a a, a, a way to to measure our growth. Our growth, that's what I'm thinking. That's what you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And so therefore, and the reason why I say that is because you know, if we look at something, you know, when we quantify things, first of all, you know, not all of us are in the same position, the same place, you know, got the exactly. same set of circumstances, et cetera, et cetera. But wherever we are, um, you know, that, you know, how far are we, are we growing? Right, you know, right. In the industry. So, you know, perhaps we only go a little bit, you know, right. uh, I say a little bit in that, okay, you know, you go 30, 30%, you know, I mean, right. I could do four. For instance, I think we all, uh, are realizing that wow you know what maybe um we could have done a lot more had we we, we engaged uh, the father the son and the holy spirit a lot sooner and totally committed right you, you know what i mean right and so whatever we produce we gotta remember that's that's up to god you know once he wherever he puts us uh -huh. uh, he determines you know the result you know, exactly. we're just your third so right. we start trying to figure out, well, hey, you know, I, I got a hundred people. Well, <laughs> maybe you weren't even supposed to get that hundred. Maybe you were actually supposed to be over here with this one person, you know. So exactly. right. God looks at things a lot different. So I think it's just our, I'm looking at it Spiritual as growth. our personal growth as right. opposed to quantifying things. That's my question. question. How do you, how do you, well, what metric do you use to qualify it? You know, if, 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 if that's, what does the hundredfold look like? If, well, just, think, if it's not a quantity, what is it like as a quality? I think, I, well, that's a good point, but I, I guess the, 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 the issue is that as you eliminate the stronghold, let's say if you had a, uh, an addiction, and let's say about, matter of fact, why don't we just talk about just the fact of moving away from the, the areas we call sin? I mean, the master, what if you get to the point that you master all the areas? dealing with sin. I mean, I mean, even if you just go back to the Ten Commandments, not as a law, and I'm, I'm not saying, I'm just talking about, the, he says, he'll put the law in our hearts, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and I'm saying is that you you, you you don't move totally away from from first the addictions that we had, the strongholds, you know, things that easily beset us and cause us to get off base. Um, it, 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 I think, as, as, I guess we're talking about a, 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 a mature saint that's, that has moved past the the weaknesses of the, of all the uh, temptations. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. But Bishop, I wanted that's a, I just wanted to throw that in there. That yes, the commission is to to preach the gospel so that we bring them to Christ, and Christ is the one. You know, because all that we can do is plant water, but God gives the increase. And like you said, we can't, there's no way we can quantify how many souls each person is supposed to, are uh, we saying we're supposed to have a, everybody in this world supposed to save 100 people uh, or 60 people or 30 people, or are we talking about that internal growth? It's, it's, it's just a thought. I wanted to see how I would, how you guys thought about that. And that, that what came out of my study. <laughs> 